All right, we are ready for our final video in the iSpy app uh, tutorial, and we're using Thunkable for this. So uh, right now what we need to do is uh, think about the different sounds that these sprites will make. So in our app, we're gonna have two sounds. Sound one is for when the user got it correct. So for my screen, an apple core is not recyclable, so that's the correct answer. I want it to play something happy when the apple core is pressed. And then the other three items that I have will make the wrong sound. So I have to identify what those sounds are now. I need to pick sound one and sound two. Sound one is the happy and sound two is the not so happy. So I'm going to go to this website here, freesfx.co.uk. It's a website for free sound effects. And I like to go into the cartoon or comical section of this website. Um, because I think these sounds are uh, the right kind of sound for uh, a game like this that younger kids would be playing. So I think that, for example, uh, the ascent ones where they're sounding like the sound is going up is good for like, yes, you win. So let's listen to one of those. Okay, so if you don't like that one, you can just hit the back button and listen to another one. Okay, so I like that one. I think that one would be kind of fun. Like, yes, you got it correct. And it's a nice short sound. You wanna make sure that it's around six or less seconds um, so that it doesn't take up too much room in your app. So if this is the sound that you like, you're gonna download it. And sound one is my happy sound. So I'm going to uh, remember that this number is my sound one. So 17892 is my sound one. So what I'm going to do is uh, look for a second sound now, kind of a negative sound. So let's go back into Cartoon Comical, and maybe Descent would be good because it goes down. Let's see. Yeah, that works for me, but you might want to find another sound that sounds better to you. I'm going to download this one. This is my sound 2, and it starts with 1-5. So I know that 1-7 is my sound 1, 1-5 one is my sound 2. It might help you to write those down so that you can remember what's what. So to get sound into your app, it's in the media category over here. And we're gonna pull two sounds over, sound one and sound two. Now they're invisible. You can scroll down and see them down here because we don't really need to see the sound. Uh, we need to hear it when one of these is tapped. So sound one, I need to upload in the source section. I'm gonna upload just like I did with pictures. And if I get it correct, I believe my sound one, it's in my downloads folder, should be this first one with the one seven. So I'm gonna do that. That's my sound one. And then I'm gonna do my sound two with the one that started with a one five. So I'm gonna to try to find that one. And that was this guy right here. And say open. So now my sounds are uploaded. I need to do the coding. So I'm gonna go into blocks. First though, I wanna remember, I need to make sure that the right image sprite plays the right sound, right? So image sprite one is my bottle, so that's gonna play sound two because that's not the correct answer. Image sprite two is also going to play sound two. Image sprite three is going to play sound two because those are the three that are not the right answer. And image sprite four is the one that I want to play sound one because that's the correct answer. So let's go into blocks. And image sprite one, when it is touched, we want to, oh, I'm, there we go, I'm having trouble with my mouse. Okay, when image sprite one is touched, we want sound two, because that's my not good sound, my wrong answer sound, to play. Okay, and so we can just duplicate this. When, sound, when Sprite 2 is touched, also Sound 2 plays. When Sprite 3 is touched, for me, and yours are gonna be different, remember, because you've got different pictures, different items, okay? And then my last one, when Sprite 4 is touched, this time we want Sound 1 to play. All right, so you can go back to your Designer tab and um, you can test this out, see if it works. And you're going to do that same exact thing with the other screens that you have in your app. Now, when you're ready to download this app, when it's perfect and you're good and you've got all your screens done and everything works and you've tested it out, 
you can export the app. Instead of going to test, you'll go to export and go to this first option here to get a QR code. That only works if you have the tablet in front of you because that QR code is only valid for a couple hours. So um, that's the option you would choose if you have the tablet in front of you that you want to install your app on. Now, if you wanna save it and email it to friends and family, it's working right now, it's uh, working on getting that QR code. If you wanna save it to friends and family or send it to friends and family, you would do the second option under export. So now I have um, an error message. So I'm gonna read it. Instead of just pressing dismiss, I'm gonna look at what I have here. It says that um, on line 76, I have a duplicate declaration of image sprite three touched. So this is interesting. I'm gonna go into my coding and see if I can find where my image sprite three has a duplicate. Um, it's not on this screen because I only have one image sprite three. So let's go back to my kitchen. And yep, there's my problem. So I have image sprite one, two, and three. And when they are both touched, uh, or I have two instances of when sprite three is touched, this one should actually be sprite four. Maybe you caught that when I was doing it and you saw me make a mistake. That's all right, I'm gonna fail forward, right? So let's go back and try it again. So this time I'm actually going to save um, the whole app package to my computer. This is what you do if you wanna attach it to an email and send it to someone so they can open it on their mobile device. So we'll see if it will export, see if it gives me any other errors. And once that happens, um, it will download to this computer and you could open up your Gmail or um, an email account and send it as an attachment to someone who has an Android device. And that's how they can open this app and install it on their device. So um, that's it. I think you guys have done a fantastic job and feel free to add more to your app. If you're not quite ready to, to download it yet, you can always add more screens, more items. Uh, just remember that the more you add, the bigger your app will be. And then there's a lot of uh, limits on emailing apps. So like size limits. So you might want to be careful um, about that. All right. Thank you very much.